The sodium-potassium pump works constantly to maintain a low concentration of sodium ions and a high concentration of potassium ions in the cytosol. This is achieved through the following steps. The sodium-potassium pump binds three sodium ions from within the cytosol. ATP then binds to the ATPase region of the pump and is hydrolyzed to ADP and a phosphate. This phosphate remains bound to the pump, phosphorylating it. Phosphorylation causes the pump to change in shape. The sodium ions are released into the extracellular fluid and two potassium ions bind to the pump. The phosphate group is then freed from the pump, causing the pump to return to its original shape and release the potassium ions into the cytosol. The pump thereby returns to its initial state, ready to repeat the process.